Josh here with another installment of You Ask and We Answer. So here at Ideal Turf, we're talking about cost. Specifically, how much does turf installation cost? In a previous video, we talked about the different factors that can determine turf itself cost, but that's not the whole story. When you're looking at a true turf installation cost, here at Ideal Turf, we price by the square footage. And in that square footage price, we're not only accounting for the turf, but also those little finite details of material and labor that make up the ultimate cost. So today, I want to talk about what those details include. To start, we'll look at the actual labor. So labor itself is the actual effort that goes in to doing a turf installation. And while it might seem easy, turf installation can be quite tricky. If you've ever had carpet installed in your home, you've probably seen firsthand the labor intensity that comes with getting, getting carpet, and in this case turf, laid, stretched, and secured. Not to mention the crazy cuts that happen along the way. So those intricate details that make out curves and patterns around trees or roots, that's ultimately going to go into that labor cost. But it's not just labor we're talking about. We also should talk about materials. It's not simply the turf that you're paying for, it's the system of a turf installation. And that's gonna include a few things. The first is obvious, it's the turf itself. But other materials that are gonna be factored into that cost are going to be base material. So base here at Ideal Turf will either be a decomposed granite or a crushed limestone. And we tend to use two to three inches of sub-base underneath the turf that we then compact several times to make that secure base happen. So the base material itself is factored into your square footage cost, and that's a true material. The other thing we include is an industrial strength weed barrier. So it's not like something you're just going to get at Home Depot or Lowe's. This industrial strength weed barrier is the real deal, and is going to help prevent weeds from popping up through the sub-base and the turf itself. So after we talk weed fabric and base, let's go to on top of the turf itself. You've got to get it secured. So we either use galvanized nails or sod staples. And again, that's a material cost included to get the, the turf secured down. And then the final thing that most people don't think about is the infill. So infill is used to help weigh the turf down. And when we talk infill, that's a material cost but you wanna get your infill power broomed in, that way it weighs down to the bottom. So you just don't have a bunch of infill sand sitting on top of your turf, because that would look crazy, right? So to do that, now we're talking material cost and a labor cost. So when you think about pricing per square foot on turf, of course the turf is one cost, but then you wanna think about the labor to do removal of existing grass and sod, or dirt if that's all you have. Then you wanna look at the actual base, that's a material cost, and compacting it is a labor cost. From there, the weed fabric itself is a material cost, and again, a labor cost. And then once we get our turf down and secured, that's when the heavy labor costs come in with the cuts, the curves, etc. But then securing it down using staples or nails, that's gonna be again a material and a labor cost. And then finally, the infill is of course a material cost for the infill itself, but also a labor cost to get it power broomed in and secure. So hopefully that gives you a little more insight into the price per square footage and how that's going to be a determining factor based upon just the turf, but also the labor involved with that particular installation. 